he is one of the best heavyweights out here now, but I don't think he's so technically sound and all of it. Built, they built him up to be a lot of things. That has to be proven. What do you think if it happens that Walter, you know, Joshua, what do you think in, in those, you know, two different styles that... It's a know? huge fight. Uh, it's a, I believe Joshua has a better shot at Wilder than Ortiz does. Wow, that's... That's my that's, personal opinion. That's pretty, you know, like... I believe I, that Joshua, because of his youth, and because it's proven that he can take a shot. Think Joshua's like, what, 24, 25? He's, he's pretty young. He's, so he's in his early 20s. That age, he's in his early yeah. 20s. But he proved that he can take a shot. Crystal hit him with some pretty good shots. You got to give Crystal him that. Crystal hit him, yeah. He came back with back some up. pretty good shots. Yeah. So don't, uh, you know, you can't count Joshua out. I don't know about his Come boxing around, ability. Jim. I know he's Come slow around. as well. Come I know around. that he's slow as well. I mean... As a boxing fan, I would like to see that fight. I'm very Definitely, interested. Definitely, I mean, a lot I'm of fans, very interested they, in that fight. they want to see it. Then. I, that's a fight you don't even have to promote. Yeah, exactly. People are going to want to see that fight. People but, already know that actually you know, that's going to happen. It's still a business. Fight. It's still a business. They have to go through their negotiations. Somebody's got to be the A side. Somebody's got to be the B side. You, you know, mean? it's a question of who wants it more. Are you willing to sacrifice something to take all three belts? Wow, that's... You have to be willing to sacrifice something. Whoever wants it more will probably give in to the other person's demands, or they may not. Both sides may want it just as much. So we'll see what happens. Me, personally, it's become a business. Uh, I know that that hurt the game a little bit because now you don't see the, fight, the best fighting the best. But you can if the best are willing to fight each other. Gotcha. You understand? So, share your thoughts on this fight. If it happens, that fight is Spence versus Keith Thurman. My thoughts on Spence versus You think Spence, Keith think Thurman Spence, will stop, you know, Spence? I think Spence will stop. I think they both got the ability to stop each other. I've never seen either one of them really rocked, like really hurt. So, I think Spence, uh, Spence goes to I haven't, the person, go to the body a lot. I think the other thing Spence is that, that Thurman has been rusty. He had, he's been, he had some medical issues. He had some arm problems. He had, I don't know if it's, some people saying it's just excuses, but even if they are excuses, he's still not fighting. Earl Spence is fighting, he's constantly fighting, fighting uh, constantly yeah, fighting. Yeah. A well-oiled um, machine. Yeah. Keith gotcha. Thurman is gonna have problems yeah. if he fights Earl Spence. Yeah. And I don't think Earl Spence is even staying in that division. Did you think he's I think gonna, he's gonna, move gonna up? get bigger. I think he's gonna move up. He's gonna hold the title for a while. I don't know, maybe two, three years. Yeah. Eventually he's gonna get bigger. He's a big kid. He's a big kid. I love his tenacity. Uh, he does have boxing ability. Of course, he's still he's a work in progress. Uh, I, I like the fact that he doesn't talk much. He just comes to fight. You know, he's very calm very and calm, laid very... back. But he's ferocious when he gets into the ring. Oh, I kind of like that about him. Keith Thurman, he likes to talk a lot. He likes to say, I'm the best, I'm the this, I'm the that, I'm the this, I'm the that. Earl Spence gave him the contract. Where's it at? You got you to gotta prove, if you want to say you're the best, you got to prove you're the best. Gotcha, gotcha. That's that's the way I feel about it. So if you're asking me about Earl Spence and Keith Thurman, I'm taking Earl Spence Earl every Spence, time. Spence every time. Because he's been constantly, you know, like consistent. fighting. Consistent. Consistent fighting. He's been fighting. consistent. So definitely he has more, you know, I guess more chances, you know, in order Keith to... Thurman beat Danny Garcia, and he thought that that's all he needed to do to, to I know claim fun. number one I, ranking. I like Keith Thurman after that fight. No, I know, I mean, Before, I, I didn't really... Wasn't Keith really Thurman is of, one of the best. I mean, they, those two should fight each yeah, other. Yeah. They should fight each other. I'm not saying that he's not one of the best. I'm just saying that he's not the Keith Thurman that used to be. Gotcha. Yeah. That's what, what I'm saying. What about this fight that is Adrian Broner 